You've been selected for a mission which you are not to discuss with anyone outside of this room. Okay, so at this point in the trailer, I feel that it's it already interests the audience because it doesn't show any characters, yet it shows action. So it shows a car driving, for example, in an airport, suggesting that the character has to take part in a long journey throughout his life, a long journey within his life, and quite literally due to like, having to travel, which suggests the seriousness of his job. We are engaged in a war with the Soviet Union. This war does not for the moment involve men at arms. It involves information. So it mentions war, and the war genre is mainly for men due to it being usually yeah, based on true events and very emotional and violent, which a lot of male target audience members would actually like to refer to when watching a film. They may actually be, in, they may for two reasons be interested in the story, due to being very violent and graphic, which some actually like to see in films, but also due to being a bit based on true events or having relevant similarities. And this film is actually based on true events about the Soviet war which may gain attention to, to an older audience who may have even lived during that time period or may be really interested or even have family living through that time period therefore creating similarities between their lives and their lifestyles and at the end it mentions the director who is extremely well known and here are some of the films he, he's directed yeah so he's very well known and he has a lot of respect to his name and a lot of great and re well recognized films. Something important has come up. We've got a Soviet spy. So at the start, it's a slow and um, calm type of crescendo, which suddenly gets much more intense to reinforce the action and seriousness in the scene. The actual knocking down of the door reinforces power the power of the law, someone has done something that's illegal somehow, one way or another it's interfered with something and it mentions someone being a spy, this creates more tension into what's actually going to occur. But there's a wrinkle. They got our spy pilot, or the head full of classified information. The Russians want their man back before he cracks. So the mood is even more dramatic now. We see explosions, we see, well, we hear more, more orchestral drum beats to reinforce the action in the film. And it, it just gains more, more of an interest because at the start it starts with, it starts with calm, which is fairly welcoming. Then it leads on to greater action, which is certainly what the audience would like. We want you to negotiate the swap. I'm an insurance lawyer. So the actor is Tom Hanks, and he's a very reputable actor. He has a great reputation to his name and a lot of respect for him. And he's in a lot of films which are, you may say, are mainly the audience would be the prime ones would be males, such as maybe Forrest Gump and Saving Private Ryan. And the film Saving Private Ryan was also directed by Steven Spielberg, so there's a similar reference between the two. I'm not sure I want to pick that up. Are you good at what you do? This will be a first for the both of us. You should be careful. I'm talking to you about the security of your country. Why aren't we hanging him? He's a spy! You're asking me to violate the Constitution. So now it gets even more serious as it mentions context of, of murder. It's suggesting people to actually be hung. So again, it sets itself in the past, which is based on true events as mentioned before. And it's, it's all the more serious as lives are at stake in conflict between two countries, two individuals, and war. Do you know how people will look at us? The family of a man trying to free a traitor? Everyone deserves a defense. Every person matters. Where do they want this negotiation? So now it shows gunfire and more violence, and it's actually destructive to the individual's family, and it, it mentions and shows glimpses of love and family, creating sense, uh, sorry, themes of trust. The whole film is relevant towards the theme of trust. Can you trust someone? Can you trust, trust the country? And it mentions traitors. Can you really trust someone who is deemed as being the antagonist? And 
The mentioning of a family brings in a secondary audience, which may attract more female target audience members at the same time. And it, it just, it's suddenly abrupted with the sudden gunfire of such a smooth and calming atmosphere in comparison beforehand when it was showing family. And it just shows how violent the film really is. East Berlin. Just tell me that you're not going to be in any danger. I don't even care if it's the truth. Give me something to hold on to. So now, at this point, more excitement is actually created because we feel as though, as the audience, we're actually being intimidated by the, the sudden gunfire. And we see the, the anxiousness of Tom Hanks' character as he feels part of the danger in which the gunfire is actually accounting for. So this creates a pleasure for the audience because we feel excited, we want to know what happens and it leaves us extremely interested in what is to occur within the actual film and why the scene actually happened. We need to have the conversation our governments can't. People in my country consider this an act of war. You can call it what you want. Let's be clear, nobody is safe. We're in a battle for civilization. The Constitution, that's what makes us Americans. Shouldn't we show our enemies who we are? Things have started to fall apart. Is this your position or your government's? Is there any outcome here where I'm not either detained or shot? Now, at this point, it's getting even more interesting. As there's greater conflict, there's greater arguments, and there's greater disagreement with one another. And there's a greater intake on the actual risk that the character is facing in terms of his life. He, his life is in danger, and he, as he mentioned, he may even get shot. So it just, it just shows how unsafe the character really is, and the audience feel sympathy for him, but also a sense of braveness as to his character's emotional state at this point. And as the audience, you can somewhat relate to that, as we feel as though we're taking part in his action. We're taking part in the action of trying to find correctness within a world of conflict and war. Do we need to worry about you? No. What's the move when you don't know what the game is? The next mistake our countries make could be the last one. Now, the climax, it suddenly gets faster and more intense, more action-packed louder and there's much more aggression between characters and this just as as a male audience member you get drawn into it you feel so attached to the seriousness in which the film tries to tell and you you do feel you do feel that it's it's very appealing because bearing in mind the majority of the characters are men and they're all in maybe their mid 40s or mid 30s or even older than that and it's very mature very serious and this allows a greater interest into the politics and context and the sense of control that these men try to hold and it's an, it's an outstanding trailer I, re I, I really loved it